The following is a Thorpe TV production brought to you in cooperation with Jack Thorfinson. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time once again for Sunday evening gun chat, that relaxing time at Mr. Holster's ranch way up north near the Canadian border where Mr. Holster talks about the events of his weekend and guns. Let's have a big round of applause for that unique, relaxing individual, Mr. Holster. Wow, Jack, that, that one was kind of lame. <laughs> I can think of a lot of things to call that bozo, but... Uh, uh, wait, Mr. Holster, hey! Howdy, pards! Yeah, it's me, Mr. Holster! <laughs> yeah, we're up in the shop again. I think I'm going to do my... Sunday evening gun chat in the shop here till, till the dry beans open again. Which the way things are going may be a, be a while. <laughs> yeah, it's cold. Well, let's get the show started. Mm -mm -mm. To the sunny slopes of long ago. And then heat you up and cool you down all at the same time. This is what we're looking at tonight, guys. And I'll have you know, I have you know, tobacco. I'll have you know, I have not even opened this up since I picked it up at the gun shop yesterday. Yeah. So we're going to have the first time I've ever done it. A, a formal unboxing of a new gun. Yeah, I've never done that before. And I know Joey Cuz does it all the time. Because he can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to do a Joey Cuz unboxing of my new gun. My SIG P220. Yeah, I got a SIG P220. But here's the kicker. It's in 10 millimeter. That's right. I told you last week. We were going to look at another 10 millimeter this week. Well, I finally picked it up, and here it is. Let's take a peek. Now, I, I will warn you ahead of time that the finish on this gun is not really, it's not really Mr. Holster, no. Mr. Holster is as, as a, exciting as he gets, maybe a stainless steel. Yeah, a polished stainless steel like my Vaquero, but pretty much I'm just a, a blued and wood guy. Pretty much, I mean, around here, all I, all I have is blue jeans and leather stuff. No, Rich, don't even go there. Clean it up. No, no straps, none of that sicko stuff. You should be ashamed of yourself. Let's take a peek at what we got. Just warning you about that. This, this finish is just not quite me, and I missed this gun when it came out in the stainless steel finish. I missed this gun when they made it in the... In the the blue finish, of course, you can still get this gun. I did see it on Gun Broker in the blue finish. There were a couple of people offering a rendition of it. But I like I like to do business with my local guy, and, and he had this, and I got the feel and touch the gun, too. I like that before I buy it, because not all guns are, are made equal. Yeah. So let's take a peek and see it. See what's in the old... I think I got it upside down. Now, first off, let's open it up correctly. Yeah, there we go. I always get the SIG name on the top, I guess. Let's open it up, take a peek, what we got. First off, we've got something about hunting and you know, Lucas gun oil and some other crap. We'll toss that. We got a, ooh, look, I can get SIG ammunition to go on my SIG gun. I'm excited about that. And... Ooh, we got a decal. Isn't that nice? We might want to put that up back here somewhere, huh? 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 Somewhere. I'll find some place to put this up. Nah, I don't like that either. A manual. I read one once, I think. Well, we might need that. We don't know. Let's take a peek at the gun. Here it is. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Let me take this stop. Read instruction manual. Oh, we just did. 
We've done the reading of the instruction manual. Put that back in the bag. Now, we got one extra magazine, which is kind of chintzy when you're talking this kind of money, I think. I was kind of hoping there might be three or four in there, but it's kind of it's all greased up. And, you know, we better not put that on anything. That's really greased up. And, of course, the orange. Take the other mag out. And I know what you're thinking. I shouldn't have taken the other mag out. I wouldn't have had to putts with the slide stop. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I know. It's it's some sort of crypto, uh, uh, it's like snake skin finish. I'm not a real, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even be a real fan of camouflage, tell you the truth. I'm not. I'm just blued steel and wood. But I really, really have wanted, ever since this came out, I've wanted a SIG 220. And I thought about it for a long time. I really did. I had a, it took me two weeks to, to finally decide, yeah, I'll take that finish. I'll live with that finish. Because, I don't know, got to do something new every now and then. It kind of matches the target, though, doesn't it? And, and I'm in the woods a lot. <laughs> so, who knows? Yeah, I like this. And, of course, this is not a conventional 220. It's the 10 millimeter, so it's single action. It's not a double action, single action like a regular 220. It's a just plain single action. So that's all you get. You got to carry it cocked and locked. That's the only option. But I don't know. I'll read the manual. Maybe maybe the, the hammer does rebound on its own to stay away from the firing pin, so maybe it's safe to carry it like this. I don't know why anyone would, but maybe it is. And it's got an adjustable rear target sight. And then if I'm correct, the front sight is a fiber optic with a tritium insert. Kind of different. And a lot of guys are doing that in carry guns, putting the fiber optic, well, not the, well, that too, but they're putting a night sight on the front and just the straight iron sight on the rear. And I'm not, I don't know about that, but it is all about the front sight, I will admit. And I love these. And this, the other SIG I got the other day, when you're thinking, Mr. Holster, what are you, you queer for SIGs? Well, you know, I do. I just love my, my SIG P220, and my West German SIG. And when I die, I'm having that buried with me. Yeah. <laughs> Taking that one with me. But I really like the, the uh, Piranha G10 grips that were on the 211. I have 211. The 1911 I got the other... Let me take another step. The 1911 I got the other day. That's SIG 1911. I really like that. The Piranha Grips. These aren't quite as aggressive, I don't think, as that. I should probably put them side by side and try them. But it's the same thing. I really like that. As a matter of fact, I was contemplating getting a pair of those Piranha G10 Grips from Hogue for my... my uh, West German SIG P220 because I like them so much on that 1911. I was I'm contemplating that right now. I've just got some some rubber grips on that. They're they're the whole rubber grips I think that came on the gun. Really like these. Not too sure about the the wallpaper looking uh, cryptic snake finish, whatever they call that, and and I think they call it cryptic on the website. Let's see if it says here on the. Now they're not they're not admitting to anything, and of course this has a five inch barrel on it. What what a I I'm hoping this is a very accurate gun. It should be for what I paid for it. <laughs> for what I paid for it, they should they should send a girl out in a bikini to shoot it for me. And and that's what Jack that was Jack's joke. <laughs> Get on Jack. That's all he ever thinks about. The, the guy's just, he's a wolf is what he is. Yeah, he is. He's a wolf. So, you want to see the other side? Yeah, there's two sides to this gun. It is 3D. And you, you have an up and down and right and left, I guess. Yeah, you're, I think it's... Oh, yeah. So you can raise and lower the sight, and then you can run the blade for windage. So that's nice. Highly adjustable in the back. That'll work out nice. I don't 
know, it's kind of growing on me. The finish is kind of growing on me. My wife said, you know, just get it and think of it as being camouflage. And I said, well, you know, the only thing I like in camouflage is you. Which was a good thing to say, by the way. <laughs> that was a good night. At any rate, so here we are with my new 10 millimeter. And of course, it came with two, apparently comes with two eight round magazines, blued, which kind of surprises me that they're blued, not stainless steel. I'm kind of thinking this is if, if Dirty Harry, if Dirty Harry, if Clint Eastwood were to make a new Dirty Harry movie, I kind of think that a, a 10 millimeter is what he'd be carrying. That's what I'm thinking. I'm kind of thinking this as being a modern Dirty Harry gun. Go ahead, make my day. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I think it's pretty even though I don't really like the finish. But I really do like the gun. And that's what it's all about because this gun is going to be used around here. Yeah, I plan on using this a lot before I die. <laughs> yeah, well, I actually do. I'm not joking about that. I've had too many guns in my life. And this is what I, I told my wife the other night. I've had too many guns in my life that I've hardly even... Hardly even gotten any use out of, and I've gone and sold them and traded them for something else, and then and I've gone through my collection so much in the last year and weeded out stuff that I didn't think was worthy to keep, and I told her, you know, every gun that I've got and every gun I get from now till the day I die, I am just gonna shoot it to death. So don't don't think my collection will be worth anything when I'm gone. But this this one, I maybe all the sigs I'll have all the sigs I own and my Glocks buried with me, yeah, all together. <laughs> And maybe even enough ammo. Just, just you don't know. A zombie apocalypse comes and I'm one of the zombies. I'm going to be armed. Yeah. There we go, pards. There's my unboxing of my SIG P220 10 millimeter single action only. And of course, it does have a light rail here. I'm not a real fan of, of throwing. And on this gun, you know, this is the kind of gun you use when you're out and about around the place here. Carry this thing and maybe hunting deer you could hunt deer with it you could hunt hogs but there aren't many hogs up here all the hogs they don't want to hang around where it's so cold up near the canadian border no they go down where it's warm they you see and this is something i'll talk about this briefly before i close my program off here tonight <laughs> it, out of all the all the animals that god created the human being is the only one that's so arrogant and thinks it knows everything that it totally ignores the instincts that God gave them. That's right. Just thought I'd throw that out there right now. There you go, guys. I'm very happy for for myself to have this. It's, it's kind of a birthday present to myself. Of course, I've got numerous months before that birthday rolls around, so maybe I'll get some more. But it's the excuse I'm going to use for this one. <laughs> I, I hope this shoots, I hope I just love this gun, because it's been a long time since missed, well, it actually hasn't, because I bought that one the other day. But before, the on the other day, it's been a long time since Mr. Holster has spent money on a gun other than just a run-of-the-mill everyday gun. So, kind of treating myself here, because I feel like it. Yeah. There we go. Thanks for tuning in if you like my channel. Oh, oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Just a second. I gotta finish my drink. <laughs> no, I almost forgot about my contest. Yeah, I'm having a contest right now, and all you have to do to get in my contest is number one, be a subscriber, number two, like this video, and number three, in the comments section down below. <laughs> all you have to do is type in, have a good Sunday, Mr. H. Thank you. I will. And you too. And until next time, go out, stay safe.